what's, what's happening, happening? And, and welcome, welcome to, to the big, big brian, brian show. show and um seems like everybody these days are talking about retirement so i'm gonna give you some pointers on retirement and i made a i made a previous video and um i made some mistakes on that video so i'm i'm doing this one clear the things i made a mistake on so first of all let's talk about retirement now when a lot of people say they're going they're retired right you can look at that two ways um some people retire from a job they was working right because they saved they saved enough money or they put they put the time in to collect pension okay and then you got the other retirement which is when you turn 62 years old you can get uh, social security um ssi benefits so let's talk about both of them so young people if you get a job try to make sure you get a job that's going to that has pension okay and basically what that means is if you put enough years in like and some job every job is different some job it may take you five years to be they, they call that vet be invested so some jobs if you stay with the company five years then you you're vested you can get pension um some jobs is 10 years you know so whatever if it's five ten could be 15 but if you if you stay with that company for most jobs is 10 years if you stay with the, if you stay at a job for 10 years bam then you're going to get pension that means you're going to get a check for the rest of your life okay and the, um and it depends on how much money you make depends on how much your check's going to be every month okay and this is why it's good to have a a good paying job because the more money you make the more your pension check is going to be okay so that's why, that's why you want to try to get your you know a good paying job um, and young people work get as much overtime as you can while you're young Get that money while you're young. That way when you get older, right, your pension check is going to be fat. Okay? You have a nice pension check. So, you know, while you're young, get that money. Especially if you got a, you know, if you got a job that's, that's giving you pension. Get that money. Work that overtime. And and so when you so when it's time for you to quit working and retire, you got a nice, you got a nice pension check. You won't have to work another day. You want to work another day in your life. You set for the rest of your life. And it also helps to build up your social security benefits. So, so a lot of people, when they say they retired, they, they, they could be talking about that. And some people actually have a 401k, which is another way to make money. Okay. 401ks, uh, is another is like a saving account and um some people like you can get stocks stocks is a very good thing to get some companies will, will put in half of what you put in so if you stay so if you work with a company for 10 years and you're putting in money and they're putting in half it adds up Another good way to make money is to invest in stocks. And today they got apps like me. I I use Robinhood. Robinhood is a great app to invest in stocks. And um it's a great way to make money because when you buy stocks um they they give they once you start buying stocks, they give you a dividend check. Yeah, every quarter. Um, they 
they they they reward you by giving you a dividend check every quarter. So the more money you have invested into a company, let's say like uh and they and you can invest in any like let's say you invest in uh just throwing somebody there, like high like Coca Cola. You you can buy Coca Cola stock and every quarter they give you a check just for investing in them. So yeah. And I personally I use Robinhood. Robinhood is a great app. So maybe I mean I had to make a video about that. It's a lot on YouTube, but yeah. I use Robinhood and and uh, that's a great way, like I say. Stocks are a great way, and if you're working for a company, um, you know, you, when you if you're working for a company, you they a lot of companies have stocks too, and you can and you can and you can when you do a 401k, they have you know you can do fixed you can do a fixed income or you can diversify. Diversify means um, they will put money in different stocks for you. Now, when you're investing in the stock market, if you like to gamble, then you want to diversify. That means you, you're taking a chance on different stocks. But if you want to play it safe, then you go the fixed income. That's the safe way. That way you, you're putting your money in a safe um, savings plan. You're not gambling. But anyway, that's something else to get into. So anyway, so those are the two things. Some people say they retire. Retired means they either like if they if they're not in their sixties, then they either got they either take it they either um get using their four hundred one k. Now here's a now, now here's some other things to consider. Let's say you work for a company. And you and you and you with them for ten years, and I know a lot of people like that too. And they say, "Well, I'm 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 gonna retire, right?" Man, check this out now. If you take that money before you sixty five, you are going to get penalized out the yin yang. So all almost all all companies want you to work, want you to take that money when you're sixty five. If you take it before you sixty five. You're gonna get penal. They're gonna penalize the heck out of you. Okay, so that's something else to consider. You can take your pension, but if you're not 65, they're gonna penalize you. Okay, and the closer you are to 65, the less you're gonna get penalized. That's pension. And let's talk about Social Security. You can take. That's that's a big question you see all the time. When should I take my Social Security? Now, now I'm talking about, like I said, you can't get your Social Security unless you're 62, no matter who you are. You have to be at least 62 to get your SSI benefits, unless you get disability. Now, if you're disabled, you can get it, but you, but you really have to be, you really have to have a good reason to show the government why that you can't work to get uh, disability, and everybody. It's going to be different for everybody. So, anyway, that's something to look into. See if you can qualify to get um, disability checks. I heard to get that, and it'd be a, and it'd be more money. But anyway, so let's say you sixty, you can start collecting SSI benefits at sixty-two. And here's the thing now. That's that's a big question. When should I take my Social Security? You can you can you can get it at sixty two, all the way to seventy. Now here's the thing to remember about that. Same thing. The earlier you take your your benefits, the less money you want to make. Now, if you people that are born, if you're born after nineteen sixty. Your full retirement age now is 67. It used to be 65. It's now 67. 
If you was born before 1960, it's still 65. But anyway, so what that means is if you take your 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 SSI benefits at 67, you're gonna get your full money, okay? From the the money that you work, you're gonna at 67, you'll get a hundred percent. Um and if you and the and the the further you take it away from that, the less money you're gonna get. But let's let's say you let's say you let's say you take your money at sixty two. That means you can still retire, but you're gonna you're not gonna get as much as you would at sixty seven. Let's say you retire at sixty two. You might get Okay guys, let's say you retire at sixty two. You might be getting seventeen hundred a month. But if you can wait till you sixty seven you're getting twenty three hundred a month. So basically, if you can wait five years, you'd be making six hundred dollars more a month. But remember, that's five years. See what I'm saying? But those are things you got to consider. Now here's the other thing: you can work, you can work, and get Social Security. A lot of people don't know that. But once again. I, I say the best age to take it is 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 like 64 65 cuz 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 now you you you'll get 80% instead of 100 but that's not as bad as 62 but here's the thing people a lot of people don't know this though if you wait till you 67 you can take your social security benefits and you can keep working and and, and here's the neat thing at 67 okay at 60 Let's say at 64, right? At 64, 63, you can still work, but you can only make like $22,000 a year. So yeah, guys, in 2024, you can make $22,320 a year, which is about $1,800 a month while you still collecting your Social Security benefits. Which ain't bad. $1,800 a month. See what I'm saying? Now you take it at 62, you probably only can make uh let's say 16,000 a year. But at 63, 64, you can you can still take your social security benefits and work and make 1800 a month. So but the, here's the neat thing. But once you get to 67, you can take your social security benefits and make as much money. After 67, you can make as much money as you want. So you can ask so if you wait till you're 67, you can take your social security uh, income benefits and keep working. Keep working full time. So that's something to, re to remember, okay? So like I say, it's and a lot of people say take it at 62. It's up to you. It depends on everybody's different, but my thing is this: I always say, if if you if you if you're making if you can take your Social Security, if you're making the same amount of money on your Social Security as you was when you, when you were working, then I would take it because you're gonna save money on gas. You won't have to, you won't have to worry about gas no more. You don't, you don't need a car no more, even though you might want one. But you and food, no more stress. So yeah, I mean, if you, if your if your social security um, income is the same as it was when you was working, I would I would retire. Plus, you don't know what what's, you don't know tomorrow ain't given. So that's why a lot of people say take it at 62, 63, 64. Don't wait because they they want you to wait till you seventy. Yeah, you get you get a whole, you get more money at seventy, but. You might not make it to seventy, and if you do get to seventy, you 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 know you you're a lot older, so you want to at least be able to enjoy life a little bit. So anyway, okay, guys, I did the math. If you retire at sixty-two, okay, guys, I did the math. If you take twenty-seven ten, multiply it times twelve, that's thirty-two thousand a year. Then multiply that by eight, 
That's 260,000 over eight years that you will make. Okay, so if you retired at 70, it would take you, you can see 4873 times 12. It would take you four and a half years to make that $260,000. So now, so what I'm trying to say is, if you retire at 62, you got eight years of relaxation every day is Saturday. Plus you save, I was saving $200 a month in, in gas money, but not working, right? You got all that going on for eight years. Meanwhile, you're still grinding to you 70. And then once you retire at 70, it's still going to take you four years to make what you made at 62. So you're talking, you're talking 12 years, basically. <laughs> and at 74, you like, you know, unless you're in really good shape, you're like a decrepit old man there with a cane. But anyway, just an example of why people say retire at 62 and not 70 or even at 67 or 65. But anyway. Another good reason to retire at 65 is because you can go on Medicare. Because once you retire from your job, you won't have no medical insurance unless you find somebody else. And I have Cigna Dental. And um, that's C-I-G-N-A. Um, I found them online. They are good, legitimate people. They have different packages. But yeah, Cigna. And um, I don't have no... But I, I never was wanting to go to the doctor anyway. But I'm sure you can find some, um, Cigna might even have, they might even have um, medical. But, yeah. Now, I know back in the day, they used to send um, your statements to you in the mail. They used to send your social security statements to you in the mail. But now everybody wants to go paperless. To let you know, you know, what your current um, status was. But, like I told my friends, you can, you can go online right now. And you know, and find out exactly how much money you're going to make when you retire. You can go online right now to um, S Social Security website, and they tell you everything on there. One more quick thing I want to talk about, guys. Um, did you know that once you start collecting your Social Security benefits? and or pension that uh credit card and debtors can't mess with you yeah because that money is protected by the government so just something else to remember you know if you got you know um it's a guy on youtube talking about that too he's like don't worry about paying those credit cards and stuff off just worry about um you know worry about living and pay and paying your bills and getting your food and stuff because Debtors can't, they can't, um, like, they can't garnish your, um, they can't garnish your, um, SSI benefits or your pension. So, anyway. So, there you have it, guys. So, plan for the future. Work hard now while you're young. I'm seeing too many people, on, too many young people on YouTube talking about, I'm tired, and I'm quitting my job, <laughs> and I'm like, you that's crazy. You're young. You got the energy. Work. When I was young, I was working two, three, three jobs. Working, killing overtime. That's what you want to do. Now I'm tired. I'm just keep on grinding. Cause, cause, the, cause the more you, the more you make now, the more you gonna have when it's time to retire. When you go look at your Social Security benefits, you are gonna say, yeah, yeah. That's what you get from working, not from not working. And I'm seeing a lot of people talk, thinking they're going to, you know, YouTube is good for making money, but it ain't stable, okay? I mean, it's good to have a job and YouTube. I'm seeing people thinking, well, I'm going I'm to get rich off YouTube. YouTube ain't stable. Like I say, you might, you might make, you might make, Five hundred, one thousand dollars one month. And that's more. You might make a hundred. <laughs> Very few people on YouTube is killing it like that. Very few, you know. But 
like I said, anyway, it's, it, it is good. I, 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 I thank YouTube for letting us make money, you know. But uh, I want don't put all your eggs in one basket. Try to get you a job and YouTube. All right, YouTube is like a part-time job. So, um, like my brother said, right? It ain't what you had, Joe. It's what you got now. So get your head out the lunchbox and get that money. Peace.